equal triangles. Today again, I am starting the class by answering a doubt asked by a student in the comment box. Question is in page number 22, question number 6. Look at the board children. Are the two diagonals of a rectangle equal by? Is the question. I have drawn a rectangle ABCD. Then I have drawn two more triangles. Okay. To prove the two diagonals AC and BD are equal. Come to the question. In a rectangle, what do you know? AB and CD. They are the length of the rectangles. They are always equal. Also, BC and AD are the breadth of the rectangles. They are also equal. What do you know about the angles in a rectangle? Each angle is equal to 90 degree. So, I have marked 90 degree here, 90 degree at C also. Now, look at the first triangle got by joining length, breadth and the diagonal AC. Here, CD is the length, AD is the breadth, included angle is 90 degree. Come to the next figure. This figure is got by joining again the length of the rectangle, breadth of the rectangle and also the diagonal. Just by looking at these two figures, the idea will be very clear to you. Because side, here also side, included angle, included angle, third side, third side. So, by using our second idea, that is by using yes, 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 side, included angle, side, we can say the two triangles are equal triangles. If triangles are equal, what do you know children? We know Sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Opposite to 90 degree, we have the side AC. So, we can say AC is equal to side opposite to 90 degree is BD. So, we can say AC is equal to BD, which is the proof of the given question. Clear? Come to the next question, children. In the previous video, I have explained... How to draw bisector of a line. Today, I am explaining how to draw angular bisector. Look at the question. Draw an angle of 75 degree and draw its bisector. What do you know about a bisector? Bisector of an angle divides the angle into two equal parts. See how I am going to construct First of all, I have drawn a line of any measure. I have just drawn a line of any measure. Now, keep your protractor at the point A and measure 75 degrees. So, here 75 degrees I have marked. Now, use your scale to join this line. So, you got a line. Now, we are going to draw the bisector at the point A. For drawing the bisector, use your compass. Keep your compass at A and draw an arc of any convenient radius. Using compass, I am going to draw an arc of any convenient radius. So, I have drawn an arc. See, I have drawn an arc. Now, let us name this point as some C and D. Okay. Now, let us join C to D. I am joining C to D. I have used dotted lines to join. Now, what do you know about this triangle ACD? ACD will be an isosceles triangle. It is because AC and AD are equal in length. Now, to draw the bisector of angle A, it is enough if you draw the bisector of 
this line CD. Is it clear, children? To draw the bisector of angle A, draw the bisector of this line CD. Use our previous idea. CD is the line, isn't it? So keep your compass at C. Take half more than this line. Draw arcs. So here I am drawing an arc with C as center. Now keep your compass at D and draw one more arc with the same radius. The two arcs will meet at a point. Now join this point to A. Now I have joined this point. Let me name that point as O. Now you can say angle OAC. This angle OAC will be equal to angle OAD. Both angles are equal to half of 75. How much is half of 75? You get 37 and half degree. Hope you understood. Come to the third question children. This is on page 31 question number 12. This is a very important question. See how I am doing it. Okay. In figure O is the center. AB is the diameter. C is a point on the circle. Our question is compute angle ACB. You have to find angle ACB. See how I am going to do. First of all, you are given this angle to be equal to 50 degree. Isn't it? Using 50 degree, first of all, let us write angle AOC. Angle, look at the board children. Angle AOC is equal to 180 minus 50 which is equal to 130 degree. Because the two angles here form a linear pair. Sum of all angles in a linear pair is 180 degree. So to get this angle AOC I have subtracted 50 degree from 180 degree. So I got 130 degree. Clear? Now look at triangle AOC. I have drawn triangle AOC separately. We know this angle to be equal to 130 degree. Isn't it? Now what do you know about OA and OC? OA and OC are the radii of the same circle. So they are always equal. Hence triangle AOC is an isosceles triangle. What do you know about an isosceles triangle? In an isosceles triangle, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So opposite to this side, I am marking the angle as X. Opposite to this side, I can mark this angle as X. Okay. So what can you say about 2X? X plus X gives you 2X. 2X is equal to 180 minus 130 degree. 180 degree is the sum of all angles of a triangle from which I have subtracted 130. This gives you 50 degree. 2x is 50 degree therefore x is equal to 50 divided by 2 that is equal to 25 degree. Clear? So what can you say about this angle? I got this angle to be equal to 25 degree. And what about the angle at C? This is also equal to 25 degree. Now come to triangle BOC. Now what do you know about triangle BOC? Same idea. BO and OC are the radii of the same circle. They are always equal. Hence BOC is an isosceles triangle. 
this angle is 50 degree. So what can you say about these two angles? How do you get these two angles? If you want, you can take the angle to be equal to y. Okay, so you will get y plus y plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degree. That means y plus y. 2y is equal to 180 minus 50, 130 degree. So what is angle y? 130 divided by 2. That is equal to 65 degree. So you can say this angle to be equal to 65 degree. Do you understand? Now the question here is you are asked to find angle A, C, D. So what is angle A, C, D? Angle A, C, D is equal to 25 plus 65 which is equal to 90 degree. Angle A, C, D is equal to 90 degree is the answer for the question. Children, you change the angle at this point. Okay, you change 50 to 60 degree and find out all the other angles. You will understand angle A, C, B to be equal to always 90 degree because it is the angle formed in a semicircle. Angle formed in a semicircle is 90 degree. About this, you will learn more in the next class. Thank you for watching. Post your valuable suggestions in the comment box. Thank you.